So guys, check this out. Brentford in the 2019-2020 season scored 80 championship goals in 46 matches, more than any other club in the league. Considered 38 goals, only lead United with 35 considered days, and somehow still managed to bottle a promotion to the Premier League. For sure, that was a season many Brentford fans would definitely want to forget. Or maybe not. Because despite this disappointment, Brentford was able to assemble some of the most interesting attackers that will dominate the Premier League in the years to come. Said Benarama with 17 goals and 9 assists, Oluwakin with 25 goals and 3 assists, Brian Bomo with 15 goals and 8 assists, a whooping 77 goal contribution between these three. Here I come. Despite pressure from clubs in the Premier League, somehow Brentford managed to keep many of their stars, at least for one more season. After the departure of Oluwakin to Aston Villa, Brentford once again regrouped to challenge for the championship. This time around, they did it in style. With the arrival of striker Ivatoni, Brentford formed another deadly attack in the championship, once again scoring 79 goals and a whooping 87 points, which was enough to seal a promotion spot of the Premier League, the first time since the club was established. Brentford are promoted to the Premier League. Absolute delight for Thomas. I have been at choice at the past, and when I came here, it felt the same. It's a family where everybody can speak to everybody and laugh with everybody. Every time someone joins us, we try to make them as confident as possible. That is what I felt when I came here as well. Talk about a player with the right mentality. To say Mboma has played an important role in Brentford's achievement in the last four seasons would be an understatement. One of the most consistent players in the Premier League, playing 85 out of the possible 88 matches in the last three seasons. That is more than any other player in the Premier League. Just 24 years and a lot of years ahead of him in his football career, I say he's right at the top. With no further ado, just how good is Brian Mboma. Yes guys, I hope you are all doing well. Once again, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Many thanks in advance. Brian Bomo's ability is really one to reckon with. While Avatoni is a literal target man for Brentford, the impact of Brian Bomo cannot be underestimated. Born on the 7th of August 1999 in Bologna, France to a Cameroonian father and French mother, from a young age, Bomo has been a talent to watch out. At the age of 6, he had a successful trial with his hometown academy, CEO Avalona. It was so good that word begins to spread about his ability. By the time he was 12 years old, Brian was forced to move to Bujon Jelu, approximately 3 hours drive from his hometown. For the first time in young Obomo's life, he had to leave his parents and hometown. This after all didn't go down well. Missing home and his loved ones, just in 5 months, he returned back to continue his development in his home academy for another one year. Following another successful trial in 2013, now 14, Obomo was accepted to try. This time, he was mature enough to leave his parents. That's crazy. To think just 2 years ago he couldn't cope leaving home. Even though he was able to take care of himself, still he got support from his parents making sure he was comfortable. Dumo had no issue adjusting to new life at his new academy. His days in the Troy Academy saw him dominating in his time, which saw a large proportion of confidence and self-determination. From his first training section, I really like his quality. Brian has everything to play higher. He will go far if he keeps this mentality. For the first time in the club history, a 17 year old graduated from the academy. That was Brian. Elsewhere in France was another one that kid Kylian Mbappe, same age and similar playing style, with the two drawing comparison while playing alongside in the France youth team. To make sure they didn't miss out on this young prodigy, tried over him his first professional control at the age of 17 and was immediately promoted to the first team. In his broadcast season, he scored 10 goals, providing 3 assists. By this time, a lot of Ligue 1 clubs were keeping tap on his progress. Soon, they will be disappointed. This at all didn't go well with the French media. He received a lot of critics from the media and pundits about this move. For Brave in Bomo, it was all about thinking big and starting small. There were a lot of questions about me when I signed for Brentford, even when I had offer in Ligue 1. Those two seasons are a good way to answer my critics. I made the right choice and gained a lot of maturity. Brian Bomo after Brentford gained promotion to the Premier League. In his first season for the B, Brian Bomo scored 15 goals providing 8 assists while playing across different areas of the pitch. Watching him, I doubt if I have seen any players as versatile as Bomo in the last few seasons. In his second season at Brentford, with the departure of Oli Watkins, Brentford formed another strike partners with Bomo in Ivatoni, with the two sharing the 54 goal contribution, which saw Brentford promoted to the Premier League. This performer got him nominated for the Championship Player of the Season and the EFP Young Player of the Year. In his first Premier League season, Bomo recorded a total of 11 goals contribution, assisting 7 and scoring 4. This tally will see an increase the following season with a double of his goal contribution from the previous season. With the absence of Everton to a betting scandal, Bomo had to fill the gap in the centre forward, and as you have guessed, he never disappointed. 9 goals and 8 assists, an impressive 17 goal contribution. In a season that saw Brentford finish in the top 10, quite an impressive performance if you ask me. Born to a French mother living and practically playing his youth football in France, it's only natural for him to represent the Le Bleus. But when you receive a call from Federation President like Samaletto, things might change. In August 2022, with Samaletto desperate to assemble the Avenger, 
I mean, a formidable team for the Cameroon national team. Our boy was a perfect match. And after a meeting with Mbomo in London, he somehow managed to convince him to switch his alliance to the Indomitable Lions of Cameroon. Mbomo made his debut for Cameroon and was part of the team that... Bekele Abubakar! R.I.P. Brazil. I guess no one saw that coming. Except for Samuel Eto. Cameroon's hope of qualifying for the 2023 Half Cup of Nations, which will be played in January 2024, was actually shaking. Which means to qualify, they will have to defeat Tanzania in the last qualifying match of the group. Well, they did. With Mbomo scoring the goal of the match, and there you go, see you in Abidjan. Maybe the best part of recording this video is the 2023-2024 season. I tell you, Mbomo has been a beast so far this season, scoring 6 Premier League goals in 11 matches, just 3 less to his total goal last season, and getting 2 assists in the process. Now 24 hand in his prime, I believe this is the last season with the B. A big move is coming in the summer, you heard that from me first. Can't lie, he's currently my favorite player in the league right now. I mean, this guy is nice, good dress sense, humble, like he literally will accept interview anytime and anywhere, even in a barber shop, plus he's an African, and I'm really looking forward to his performance in the African Cup of Nations. And there you go guys, let me know in the comment section which Premier League big team you think Bumo will fit perfectly in. So thank you guys for watching this video once again, I really hope you like the video, subscribe to the channel, to help me keep making videos like this, I'll see you in the next 